The energy field between you and your horse. Understanding the energy field between horses and humans can help you better connect with your horse. As electromagnetic beings, we all have an energy field around us called the aura. Every human, every animal, each blade of grass, each animate and even inanimate object has a luminous body that surrounds and interprets it and emits its own characteristic radiation. In a herd of wild horses, this would be what is referred to as a sixth sense, since the horses are in a dynamic communication with each other by feeling into the herd. If something is suspicious to one horse, the whole herd reacts. Each individual doesn't have to know what's going on. He or she trusts the greater good of the herd. This energetic tracking system, innately built into our equine companions, is also what helps them decipher what kind of a mood you are in and what you are feeling. Horses feel into us. If our energy field seems good, they can trust the greater good of our relationship with them. This phenomenon is called morphic resonance and or swarm theory. The beings are part of a shared field of energy with its own identity, yet the individuals are autonomous within the field. The field that includes you and your horse has a life of its own. In my book, Energy Healing for Animals, I talk a lot about the energy field and that because horses are so vulnerable to energies, it is up to us to be the emotional leader. Being a leader doesn't mean we have to be a tough alpha lead mare. It means that rather than reacting, we can remain neutral and maintain the ability to make sound decisions on behalf of both beings. I set the intention with my animal companions of harmony. This means that my intention will inform my feelings, actions, and penetrate the field of energy around me. Therefore, my horse can't help but feel the same and respond to the intention. Because horses are prey animals, the field of energy around them is more fine-tuned than that around predators, or us. If our own field of energy is not exuding safety, our horse's reactions may get bigger and bigger. All it takes is a commitment to your connectivity as a partner to your horse. Part of this commitment is for you to step up and step into the relationship as the emotional leader. When your horse triggers you negatively, you might try a different reaction like amusement, understanding, or curiosity. By being available in this way, you are being fully present. Being present is all our horses are really asking of us. I have found that when people play with the energy field surrounding themselves and their horses, they get to know their horses in a profound way. The trust deepens and the health and happiness of both improve.